Hi everyone, Initra here again, and I wanted to share with you this time um, some domino books I made for the Charmed I'm Sure group over at Your Paper Pantry, and this month's theme was to do domino books, and I know there's a lot of different ways to, to do them. There were some really good tutorials that Stephanie gave us on the, the discussion thread, and I, I did follow that that tutorial when making my domino books and at first um, I really do like making the domino charms these are some of the charms I had made and I think I started I did these the first try these the first time with um, Reagan Reagan did domino charms in her bobble spangles and beads group so when I saw the domino books I knew that's something I had wanted to make but for some reason I was really stumped on it it wasn't until I saw Eileen's video on her tag book that she made um, a charm, a domino book charm that I really got inspiration from there. So thank you, Eileen, if you're watching. I got inspiration from your video, so I love it. And this is my very first one um, that I did. Um, uh, this is probably my favorite. The only thing is I need to find a way to add a charm on here real quick. But this is um, a little dancer on here, a little ballerina. And on the corner here I have a little metal embellishment. And where is this metal embellishment from? This metal embellishment I it's called just metal stickers and it came in a package like this and I got it from I don't know Michaels I think and I used some well this is called lace seam binding it usually comes in little packages wound up um, Wrights put some out you can get that at like you know um, Joann's or a fabric store and it opens up like this and one side I just have patterned paper to where someone can add whatever they want and on this side I have images of these ballerina dancers I think they're so pretty so there's that and this is, has to be my favorite and this paper is from Graphic 45 Communique, Communique something like that and then the back is Pink Paisley's, London Market, and Prima, Prima Paper, I don't know where it's from. And so it closes up like that, it just ties, and that's one book. But like I said, I have to add a charm somewhere, because that was one of the requirements, is to make sure it has a charm. So I'm still kind of thinking, where am I going to put this charm? And I might um, stick an eye pin on the top here and have a couple charms hanging down. So there's that one. And then this next one here, I have a little bird. There's that. And again, I use the metal embellishment for the corner. And then my charm is this little bird's nest there. I think that's cute. And I just use some crystal effects over the top, like I did the other one. And then use some alcohol inks on the side. And this one I use seam binding for the ribbons. Oops, let me see if I can open it. And the back of it's using the paper from the London Market. And then I had different types of winged images on here. And again, I left some space so somebody could write whatever they want on there. And then the back is just patterned paper. I don't know why it gets turned off. There you go. So there's that one. And then for my third one, um, I had found these, I don't know, these charm type things at Michael's and I bought quite a few because they were on clearance and they had something going on with their clearance where they were additional something or other. And so I had picked these up and um, on the back of them they have where you can connect and make jewelry from them. I don't know if you can see that. There they are. And I just took my... Um, wire cutters and I just clip those things off and then because I really like the way this looks kind of looked to me like a gate and um, I put it out of a charm of a, a key and on this one I'm still waiting for some images to come in because I did purchase a domino sheet full of digital images with um, Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe and Betty Davis because to me I just I thought about this and I thought oh old Hollywood and 
some of the dresses they had and so this one's ready to have their images put on there which it should have come in I have to check my email it might be here already I'm just gonna put them on there and then the back is gonna be pattern paper and this one will be done too and ready to send out but I just wanted to get a video in before I sent them because I will be um, won't be able to do videos for a couple of days I'll be away so I just wanted to share my projects and big thanks to Eileen for giving me the inspiration after seeing her domino book and to Stephanie for thinking up such a great a great theme for this month's um, charmed swap so there you go thanks for watching and I hope to do more videos soon bye